in this practical video we'll be looking at denial of service attacks and how we can replicate a denial of service attack using two programs uh, we'll be using DOS HTTP as well as the HPing3 command from Linux uh, I'm having two machines right now I'm having my a victim machine that is running on an IP of dot 24 and I'm having a Ubuntu Linux machine that is running an, on an IP of dot 25 so what I'll be trying to do is we'll be trying to perform a DOS attack using HPing 3 from the Ubuntu machine onto my Windows machine uh, for the sake of explanation what I'm doing I'm keeping Wireshark running so as we perform the different different commands Wireshark will show different sort of commands coming up over here so if I hping3 needs to be installed first you can install hping3 by using a sudo app get install command if I do hping3 help right. So if I go to see the hping command, I have a lot of sort of flag, I have a lot of switches which can be used for it. So let's say if I want to specify the number of packets, I can use the minus C and specify the count over there. Uh, if I want to specify the IP address, the basic usage is hping3 space the IP address or the uh, URL and the different different option over there. Let's say I want to send five packets and I want to do a sync flag type of flooding over there. So basic hping3 minus c and I want to send it three packets and I want to set this in flag set. Uh, when I run this command, I'll show you that cannot open raw socket. So what needs to be done is this command needs to be run as a sudo type of mode. Alright, so I sent three packets with the minus s flag set. If I go back into Wireshark I can see where that they have three packets which are come from dot 25 which is having the synchronized flag set if I expand the packet base information I can see that the source port is 1874 and I can see the acknowledgement number I can see the flag that was sent is 0x00 that is the S1 flag set now let's do a modification if I want to target a specific port I can use the minus small p and the port number command if I'm targeting port number 80 I'll specify minus p80 let's see if this shows me the output ah oh, sorry uh, I'll restart the capture and I will send the packets again all right you will see that it is sending packets with the sin flag set now because the packets are coming with the sin flag set and i am not running any sort of software on port number 80 am i running let's just check it's 
running is on the let's just say I will put the is off Now I'll send the packets again. Okay. Because IS was running and because port 80 was available, when the synchronous flag set it, when the synchronous flag hit my machine, a synchronous flag was set, a packet with the synchronous flag was sent. And simultaneously after it, a reset flag, a packet, a reset flag was sent. Now, after putting IS off, it is now sending just three packets having the synchronous flag set. This is all right. This is normal packet forwarding. Now, if I want to send more amount of packets, what needs to be done is I need to specify the speed for the packet transmission. Let's say. I don't want the port. If I specify an option that is fast, for example, fast, faster flood. Flood will send packets as fast as possible. If I specify flood over here, if I go D. The HPing command will be run in flood mode. One thing to notice when you're running this command, make sure that you run this command only for a few seconds, else the victim machine will start acting up. If you see over here, it has now sent 216,305 packets to the victim machine. And if you see over here, there's a large number of sync packets having the sin flag set. If I go to see the packets down below, it is showing me the packet sizes increasing over there. But it is showing me the source as dot twenty five. Now, the same thing can be done if I want to perform the same operation, but I want to search that the source address from which the packet is sent becomes random. I only need to have one more switch statement added over here. That is. Uh, Land dot source. So by adding is a ran dash source option, what will what can be visible is that if I go and see this packet right now, you will see that the source address is changing in each packet sent over there. the system is then trying to reply back to that IP address but because that address doesn't exist the reply will not reach that endpoint If I change the flood command and if I use maybe fast or faster, the speed at which the packets are sent will change. One thing to note is that depending upon the mode like IP or TCP, different flags will work in different options over there. In this next part of practical, we'll be looking at performing application centric DOS attacks. And where we'll be mostly looking at the uh, HTTP based DOS attack using a program called DOS HTTP. Uh, what I've done is on my victim machine, I have a on my victim machine, I'm having a website running, I'm having a running on
it's running on IIS. So the IS site is running on a local host. Uh, what we'll be trying to do is we'll be trying to break. In, we'll be trying to flood this IS. Uh, we'll be trying to flood port number eighty with different sort of data. So when I start DOS HTTP, it will ask me for a target URL. Target URL is the URL to web server which you're trying to surf to. Uh, for example, this machine which I'm using is having IP of dot fifty. So let's say HTTP on night one sixty eight or fifty. If I click on verify URL, it'll try to verify the URL and will show me if any sort of page are issue. Currently showing page and construction. Alright, no issue. Let's say sockets I will increase to one thousand and Let's say I will restart the packet capture and I will click on start flood. When I click on start flood, it will start running the attack onto that machine over there. So if I go to see breakdown, if I drill down by the IP source, what I can see is I can see this lot of there's lot of these uh, there are around five thousand or so packets which were sent from the attacker machine to this victim machine. These are all packets which are having a synchronous flag set, and these were all targeted to the destination machine port number eighty. If I go to see in the uh, header of the packet I can see that it is using TCP the source port was 1302 and it is using destination port as 80 when we talk about sockets in DOS HTTP those sockets is meaning that a different, different port number like if you go to see here the source port number is incrementing by 1 147 1247 1 and so on and so forth and it is all targeting the port number 80 so when it is targeting a single port this is called as doing a DOS attack on an application or doing a DOS, we are doing an HTTP based DOS attack if I, try, if I try to expand the header more I can see the synchronous flag has been set I can see different information such as uh, what is the window size what is the source port what is the destination port if i look into ip i can see that this was sent from dot 24 destination was said to be a dot 50. what is the window size what is the stream length what is the header length what is the version so using ip version 4 over there 